Hi, my name is Nayeli and I will be representing the flat tax system. Hi guys, my name is Dejan Atlin and I'm here to talk about progressive tax. The purpose of tax is to fund government expenditure and services. Everyone in society benefits from government services in an equal way. Therefore, we should all pay the same tax. The progressive system punishes those who earn more while not delivering a higher level of service. In fact, often it is those who earn less who rely more on the government. Therefore, if anyone should be paying more, it should be them. You know what, Nayeli? You, you, you actually have a point there. You know, because one thing, one thing that you are right about, Nayeli, is that taxes does fund government expen expenditure and services. But one thing that I don't agree with is that how progressive punishes people who earn more than others. Because people, people are less fortunate than others, but will it hurt to help out our government like that, that we depend on? You know, because we all depend on the government, no matter, no matter who it is or how rich you are. You know? And yes, the people who are less fortunate depends more on the government. But if it if I was a million or a billion dollar earner, I wouldn't have a problem with progressive taxation. Because you could look, you could look at look, you look at the debt that our that our country is in, the debt that our country is in, and everything that that they do for us to protect us, to protect the million or billion dollar earners, to protect to protect the people who who have to depend on the government, who's less fortunate than others, you know. So that's why I, I agree with you and then I don't agree with you. In flat tax, no one pays more or less than anyone else. They're different in their treatment of wealth because each system may be called unfair according to who benefits and who is treated differently. That's really funny, Nayeli. Because I'm very astonished because that's a really good joke. Because in the beginning, you said that people who need the government should pay more. But at the same time, it's it's benefiting the wealth because they are paying the, they're paying the same tax rate as as poor barely making it people. If you're gonna saying or not, because yes, flat rate tax does have a constant tax rate, but just but you just threw a lowball with that, because yes, we we been we like we we're benefiting from the government because they help us out with like other things like welfare or or um. Or housing and stuff like that, which is good for us because we need the help, you know. And then it should be it should be different for you guys because you guys are, you guys have a lot of money and it should it should be different for our type of group of people because you we're up here and you're basically higher than us. You're in a higher class than us. So yes, you guys should pay more because because we don't have enough money to pay what you guys can pay. We have enough money what you guys can buy. So why not give our government an extra push with that? That'd be very smart. Okay, guys, so me and Ellie was debating going back and forth about, like, you know, flat race and progressive race and stuff like that. So I just want to let y'all in on, like, you know, we have an extra person named Ellie, and she's going to break down the pros and cons of, of both, of, you know, a progressive race and flat race. And I hope you guys enjoy, and you got, I hope you guys learn from it. Hey everybody, I'm Della Lopez and today I will just be going over the pro and con of a progressive tax and the pro and con of a flat rate tax. So you guys probably already know what a progressive tax is and what a flat rate tax is from the previous clips. So I don't really think I need to go into depth with those. So I'm just going to jump right in to the juicy stuff. So I'm going to start with the con of a progressive tax which would be that it discourages high companies, right, big companies, from making a lot of income and making the most that they can because they know that it's all, all of the income that they make, all of that cash will just run back towards the taxes because since they're making more, they're paying more. And that kind of affects everything that runs it, right? Because they don't really have cash for themselves. They keep making it and they keep giving it away. They make it and they give it away. But a pro of a progressive tax is that it kind of takes the burden off of middle and lower income households and puts it on the rich people. Because the rich people, a tax is like another credit card payment, you know? They don't really have to deal with it. They can just take it out of their pocket and give it away and they're fine. Now onto the flat rate tax. A con with a flat rate tax is that it's one rate, one tax rate for everybody. And not everybody makes the same income, not everybody 
works the same job. So the problem with the flat rate tax is that they have to multiply their income with that flat rate tax no matter how much they make and they can give up a lot or they can give up a little bit but it does really burden the middle and lower class household because they don't really make that much but for the rich people again it's not a big deal but a con is that it's really easy to understand it's flat out right there in front of your face one rate for everybody nothing to really figure out there's not much room for fraud or error which is also another thing that makes it really easy so that's all i have for you guys today thanks for listening Flat tax is a system with a constant margin or rate, usually applied to individual or equal. <laughs> <laughs> equal services, equal, equal. <laughs>